Hi everyone! If you watched the last video, you'll remember that I was talking about the N on Dr. Neocortex's head. And I said it was black, and it represents the darkness coming. Well, in some games, in fact, it's black. But in other games, it's like this silvery or grey colour. And that could represent grey smoke, but it, it could also represent just like metal or iron. Just like Iron Man. Um, see that Neocortex's skin is yellow, just like Iron Man has yellow on his armour. Because... Neocortex and Iron Man represent the same person, Satan. Notice how he's how Cortex has a moustache and a beard that is similar to Iron Man's. Now, Diana Vickers, she's done a lot of music videos where she's barefoot, and that that represents that she has to have her feet washed with holy water to get into heaven. Just like when Jesus washed his apostles or his disciples' feet. So, basically, remember, Diana Vickers represents the woman of the Bible, or the lamb, because she's got blonde hair. Well, she's barefoot in the Once video, the Boy Who Murdered Love video, the Cinderella video, and possibly she may be barefoot in other videos as well, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this lyric video for her song Cinderella, because there's a lot of symbolism in this video. But first, I, I just like to say that some of the lyrics go For you, I would lose both of my shoes. And this, this, um, this, when, when she's saying for you, that, that, uh, she's actually saying for Jesus. That's what it represents. Um, basically, you see these things that look like Illuminati pyramids right there. And these waves even represent the sea that the beast will come out of. Notice that she was talking about an airbrushed world. That's because of the Illuminati like, like to corrupt the image of people so that they take away from how God naturally made them. It says that Satan will come down as lightning and thunderbolts and lightning go together. Just like in Queen's song when it's like thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. And of course, we've talked about butterflies before in Alice Through the Looking Glass and in the BBC Music thing and all of that. And even in Alice Madness Returns. Eyes, These eyes represent the Eye of Horus. They could even represent just like cat's eyes as well. See the Illuminati pyramids again? And th this eclipse type thing represents just like that eclipse that's on the Freemason Royal Arch. This castle right here represents just like the Disney castle that represents the Illuminati Pyramid. It also represents the castle in The Man in the High Castle. Which, of course, that program's got to do with Nazism. Uh, 
rising up. Here's the door that we have to go through with Jesus Christ to get into heaven. All the Christians have to go through this door. See the door right here again in Alice through the looking glass? It was even in those um Barney the Bear adverts, you know those you know that food? <clears throat> And, um, yeah. See, this clock type thing represents that time is running out. See this clock in the Lone Ranger and in the Fifth Wave? And there was even clocks in Alice Through the Looking Glass as well. Um, there's even a villain called Time in this film. Although at the end of the film, they seem to become friends, Al Alice and Time do. Um, yeah. That's what I was talking about before, be before I was lose. No, sorry. Let's just play that again. Because this is one of the most important bits. For you, I was lose, lose both of my shoes. It means, when she's, when she's saying for you, it means for Jesus. You see the red for Satan and then the blue for Jesus Christ right here. And then here's like the time type thing again and the clock. This, this whole thing about the planets represents just like the aliens coming and everything. Anyway, I think you get the general idea with that, but Cinderella and Diana Vickers essentially represent the same person, the woman of the Bible. Right. That's why, like, Cinderella loses her shoes. And basically she has to, um... I can't remember the exact details of the story, because I'm not, like, a Cinderella geek or anything, but, I mean... I don't know whether she, I think, like, if I remember rightly, like, the prince, like, gets her some, like, glass shoes or something, or glass slippers or something of that nature. Um, right, so let, let's take a look at Diana Vickers' Instagram, and basically, there's, like, loads of symbolism on this page, if I can just find it. But obviously, like, the cats and the cats have got to do with, like, the Illuminati and Egyptians and stuff. <clears throat> Sorry about this, guys, but... The stuff is actually, like, way down here somewhere. Right. So this picture here, obviously she's looking sexy and all that. But see the white for heaven and see the red for Satan and see the blue for Jesus Christ. Representing blending the iron with the clay, blending the good with the bad, blending the light with the dark. This 
this red text for Satan says, lost my mind. Well, maybe she's actually lost her mind to Satan. That would be unfortunate if that is the case, but it is possible. Uh, see the V for the fifth age in that photo right there? These dogs represent the end of the time of the dog and the fact that you need a dog to get into heaven. These glasses of wine represent the blood of Jesus Christ. Especially the red wine, because red is the colour of blood. See how she's doing a cross? And see how that thing in the background looks like a cross? Representing the cro Christianity cross? This thing represents gayness rising, just like the Grox always goes on about. Batman is corrupting Superman by kissing him. So this represents Satan corrupting Jesus Christ. See, this, this thing in this photo even represents the door that we have to go through with Jesus Christ to get into heaven. This arch type thing here. And it's gold for the golden age. See how it's right in front of you all day long. Even on celebrities' Instagram accounts. They can't help doing this. It's, it's, it's spiritually done. This thing here even looks like one of the, the homes of a hobbit. And the hobbits basically live in holes in the ground. Just like the demons are supposed to come from the holes in the ground. Mr. Blobby could even represent that Illuminati clown that is on that card game cover. Because the clown has a bow tie, but also Mr. Blobby does. These birds represent being granted the wings of a great eagle. Now we go over to this cosplayer's Instagram. And you click on this and you'll notice straight away the amount of symbolism in there. So I mean, what's this all about? So pa the Eiffel Tower obviously re representing Paris and the Paris attacks and Euro 2016 and all of that. This tomato thing represents the Great Millstone. See how it's red for Satan? And obviously this clock here represents time running out again, just as we've shown the clock in many other things in this video. This guy represents the fifth angel coming with the key to open the abyss. And he brings idol worship. And uh, see how he looks like a member of the elite with his suit and tie. And it says, Satan will come as lightning. See how he looks like he's got lightning in his hand. See how this person's wearing a witch's hat, just like the Wicked Witch. She represents the woman of wickedness. Except, mm, I'm not sure actually, I'm not sure if that's a woman or a, or a man who's wearing that hat. Um, right, so, that's that. So let me just show, let me just show the clown real quick. I can actually find it. He is represented by him. Thank you very much, everybody. See you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Keep faith in Jesus Christ. May God have mercy on us all.